Greetings, Internet. It's Dustin again with my HomeKit Home, bringing you all things Apple HomeKit from news to product reviews to how to's, just like this one. So, if that's something that you're into, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our new videos as soon as they're released. One of the most significant and controversial changes to HomeKit in iOS 14 was to Home Controls and Control Center. No matter where you stand on the changes, it can be agreed that usability was greatly expanded. As iOS 15 is just around the corner, I thought we'd look at HomeKit in Control Center in a bit more detail, look at how it can work for you and how to set it up, and how to organize your favorites in Control Center. So let's get into it. The most controversial change was the addition of recommended accessories. So Apple uses some sort of AI to determine which of your home accessories it thinks you might be wanting to use at a given time and offers those up for quick access. In theory, this sounds pretty great, but in practice, I found it pretty useless. Thankfully, we do have home favorites. Prior to iOS 14, we were limited to eight scenes and nine accessories in our favorites, but with the new interface, we have access to all of our scenes and accessories at a moment's notice, and this makes way more sense to me than some predictive dynamic set of accessories which may or may not be what you're looking for. Not only do we get access to all of our favorite scenes and accessories, we can tap the drop down menu and get access to all of our scenes and accessories throughout our home kit home laid out by room. What an idea. While it might not be as flashy as the home app, it's definitely functional and you can get at your scenes and accessories in a pinch. One of the downsides to this is that we don't actually have access to our camera feed. So for this, we need to tap the house icon at the top right to jump into Apple's home app. All right, now let's look at how to add and remove home controls from Control Center. Tapping on Control Center from the Settings app, we're immediately presented with the option to show home controls. This will give you your recommended accessories as well as the option for home favorites, which will then get you also to the abridged version of the Apple Home app. Alternatively, you can get rid of the recommended accessories, leaving behind just the home favorites by adding the home control button. This definitely cleans up your control center a bit, but I prefer the prominence that having the recommended accessories provides, even if I do find the recommended accessories largely useless. I guess you could enable both of these home controls, but that just seems redundant. Okay, so now that we have our home controls in control center, you might be interested in knowing how to rearrange your favorite home kit scenes and accessories and here's how we do that from the home tab we'll tap the home icon at the top left we'll scroll down and tap edit screen once we've done that we'll notice that our scenes and accessories are now doing a bit of a jig this indicates that you can now drag your scenes and accessories around putting them into any order that you see fit Something to keep in mind with your accessories is that they apply across your entire HomeKit home. It's not just per device, it's not just per family member, but across the entire HomeKit home. So you'll want to keep that in mind when arranging your favorites. Once we've done that, we'll tap done and well, we are. Now, if you ask me, I do think that HomeKit quick actions would be better served in an entirely different part of iOS, but we'll go into that in more detail in an upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. But if you have any questions about today's video, you can let me know in the comments section down below. Also below the video in the description box, you'll find links to our blog over at My HomeKit Home, as well as links to our social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at My Home at home. As always, if you found today's video useful, you can let us and YouTube know by giving us a big thumbs up. It really does help out the channel and helps others find our content. If you're interested in more iOS related content, you can check out this playlist here or you can check out this video here. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications as we will be doing more how-to videos like this one in the near future. Well, that's all that I have for you today. I do thank you for watching and until I see you in the next one, this has been Dustin with My Home Get Home.